Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. If you're brand new to my channel, then you gotta make sure to hit that subscribe and please do drop a like on this video. Thank you. So in this video, I'm going to show you 13, oh yes, 13 amazing fragrances that all have sandalwood in them. These are fragrances that I really enjoy putting on and that I highly recommend to you. So without further ado, let's get to it. Dunhill Indian Sandalwood. This is part of Dunhill's signature collection, a collection which I think smells fantastic, by the way. Uh, and to me, this is really focused on a smooth, almost creamy kind of sandalwood that smells great. Think of a beautiful sandwood with a slight hint of powderiness to it. That powderiness comes from Oris, and I think it gives it the perfect amount of powderiness, which prevents the sandalwood from coming across as too dry. If you love the scent of sandalwood and if a slightly powdery kind of sandalwood fragrance sounds good to you, then why not check this one out? I really, really enjoy Indian sandalwood and so far it seems like pretty much everyone around me enjoy it as well. Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. This is such a unique and fabulous fragrance that opens up with a beautiful and juicy blend of Sicilian lemon, bergamot, and pink pepper. That citrusy part is not your common blend of top notes. Oh no, it's a luxurious and captivating lemon-focused blend that smells fantastic. Think of the most smooth lemon scent together with a sweet and creamy blend of vanilla and sandalwood. Oh my, uh, I just love this one. It's a unique blend and I love the sandalwood in it. Initio Blessed Baraka. This is a sweet and smooth floral with a perfect perfect uh, balance between the sweetness and the floral side of it. Beautiful sandwich together with the sweetness of vanilla, the warmth of amber and a soft musk together with white florals makes this an epic blend that gives me the feeling of elegance and sexiness. There's an insanely seductive yet classy feeling about this perfume that I'm absolutely addicted to and I love how the sandalwood in it gives it this elegant and addictive vibe. If you want unsolicited compliments and if you want a perfume that will make you smell classy and sexy at the same time, then get this one. Rasasi Kasamat Rasana. This is a fragrance that few people seem to know about, but I think it's a really cool, incredibly well-made and fabulous scent. Rasana has a crisp opening with citrus and apple and that opening, oh my, it's so good. But it gets even better when that woody dry down come in. It's a creamy woody blend with a focus on sandalwood and cedar together with amber, musk and cypriol. It's a unique woody fragrance and I have nothing like it in my collection. Love this one. Zadig and Voltaire, this is him. This right here is a massive dose of incense with vanilla and sandalwood. The incense gives it this unique vibe, the vanilla brings it that sexy sort of a sweetness, and the sandalwood in it, oh my. The sandalwood creates balance to the whole composition with its creamy woody scent. It's a sweet, creamy and woody blend with incense and I think it's fantastic. I love the sandalwood in this one and to me it's a warm, cozy and sexy fragrance that most people love. Aqua de Parma Sandalo. At the top, a bit of that citrus that Aqua de Parma is so well known for. That citrus is then blended with lavender, tonka and a stunning sandalwood. It's masculine, it's classy, it's elegant, it's woody in a creamy way with that sandalwood and I love it. Sandalo is a fragrance that a lot of people have told me smells masculine in a fantastic way and I can highly recommend it to you if you are looking for a fabulous sandalwood focused fragrance that oozes class and elegance. Oboticario, the blend bourbon. I'm gonna link to my review of the blend bourbon above, so make sure you check that one out. Uh, this to me is a beautiful mix of citrus and pink pepper with lavender on a base of woody notes with a fantastic, beautiful sandalwood. Uh, this reminds me and gives me sort of a, the same vibe 
as Victor and Rob's Spice Bomb and Initios Rehab. And in a way, I feel that this is the perfect blend between those two, but with its own unique scent profile. The sandalwood does not scream at you in this one. It's part of a well-blended, luxurious and amazing blend that to me smells classy and elegant with something sexy about it. Highly recommended. Dior Sauvage Elixir. The opening with spices and grapefruit is so good, but the dry down, oh my. The dry down to me is almost a modern masterpiece with that beautiful sandalwood together with lavender and licorice. This would not have been what it is without that beautiful sandalwood and I just love it. Uh, this to me has a touch of something old school with a modern twist and I think it's a worthy flanker to the classic Sauvage. I'm gonna link to my review of it above so make sure you check that one out. Uh, this is currently one of my most complimented fragrances and I can highly recommend it to you. Valentino Uomo Noir are absolute. This one right here is the perfect blend of something insanely sexy and elegant. This is a spicy and balsamic scent with incense on top of a fabulous sandalwood and to me it's elegant, it's classy and it's sexy uh, and I can highly recommend it to you if you can get your hands on it. Le Labo Santal 33 sandalwood with iris amber, musk and cedar and it's so damn good. Uh, this to me is one of the most epic, beautiful and unique sandalwood perfumes ever. I'm addicted to that dusty, powdery and woody blend and the way this thing gets me attention when I'm out is always a fun bonus. This to me is pure magic. Enough said. Paco Rabanne Dandy Me. I'm gonna link to my review of Dandy Me above, so please do check that one out. Uh, but to put a single word to this fragrance, addictive. This is an insanely sexy and addictive blend of sandalwood with rose and vanilla. Think of a creamy sandalwood with a sweet and sexy vanilla and a seductive and alluring floral blend. This is simply a must if you love sweet florals with sandalwood. Dunhill Century. This one deserves way more attention than I believe it currently gets. Uh, this is a great aromatic, spicy and woody fragrance with an awesome sandalwood in it. It opens up in a great way with a spicy and citrusy blend and then dries down into a blend of sandalwood, musk and cypriol oil. This actually reminds me a lot of Santal 33. I even get that dill-like note that a lot of people pick up uh, on Santal 33. If you are looking for a great uh, underrated sandalwood fragrance that you gotta make sure to check this one out. And if you are looking for a great alternative to Santal 33, then make sure you check this one out. Dior Santal Noir. This is an epic one. Oh my, this to me is a masterpiece. This is a soft and almost milky kind of sandalwood on a base of musk. It has this sort of a discreet undertone of something fruity that gives it a slight hint of sweetness. I want you to try and think of the most beautiful sandalwood together with a perfect soft musk and a discreet fruity undertone. Oh my, this is so classy, it's so luxurious, it's so elegant and this to me is one of the most beautiful and most epic sandalwood perfumes in the world. Which sandalwood fragrance is your most favorite one? Comment and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, then I would highly appreciate if you would like it. Thank you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.